Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you have been here, if you're new here, my name's Gina. I am the creative here on YouTube behind Create and Daydream. You can also find me over on Instagram at Create and Daydream. Today, I'm bringing you a Bible journaling process video using the Darling Abigail Clones new release for Illustrated Faith called Wonderful Works. Come to think of it, I think this may be the first time I am bringing Abigail to my channel where I'm just using her release. So I'm gonna link her below. She is a uh, contributing artist for Illustrated Faith along with a creative team member. So she's pretty awesome. She is a lovely young lady. Make sure to give her a follow over on Instagram and hype her up because she's doing things at a very young age that I certainly wish I was doing at that age. So, <laughs> okay, so we're not going to focus on that. We are here to focus on Abigail's beautiful set. So this is a five page set. You get two pages of ephemera. You get a devotion written by Abigail and two pages of pattern paper. I think it's really darling. There is various ways you can use this. I use this in my, or I used this in my interleaved Bible journal, but out of I was using it, you're going to see me use it again down the road. I will share that with you. So as I'm sharing the ephemera and the devotional a little bit in the pattern paper, let me just read um, where Abigail kind of got the idea for this set. The description says, let all of God's creation be symbols and reminders of God's power, beauty, and love, and allow that to fill our hearts with peace about yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Abigail shares that after a weekend up to Michigan, she found so much peace just by taking in her surroundings. God's qualities are hidden in all of his creation, so let's take the time to go outside and soak in all of the beauty he has given this world, even if it is in your own backyard. Okay, so while I'm still sharing this on the screen, um, as you can see, some of these pages, or maybe one or two of them, were printed on clear Mako sticker paper. And for me personally, I get a different color variation when I print on sticker paper versus cardstock. And I have an inkjet printer, which always prints a little bit more muted than a laser printer. So just be aware of that. Um, I ended up coming back and printing everything outside of the pattern paper on sticker paper and you're going to see why here as we jump into the process okay so as my hands were telling you we are jumping into fast forward i um, am also using my interleaved bible this is just a new king james version interleaved bible it was honestly just the cheapest one that i could found, find on amazon i don't study in this bible this is strictly a bible journaling creative worship bible for me so i will link that below if you're interested in it and as you can see with my setup here first of all i took out the pretty white background um i put my glasses on so i could read the devotional and i stuck a bible another bible underneath the right side to just kind of lift it up to flatten out my surface and what i did was like i said i printed the devotional on clear sticker paper um i'm really liking doing this right now i like to use the words from someone's devotional in my layouts, whether it's a faith art journal or if it's in my Bible. Um, I like being able to use the words to identify certain things, but also kind of as a background. So there's a little tip for you. Like if you aren't really exactly sure what to do with the devotional, like I still have mine printed on cardstock and I will like store that. And then here, you're just gonna see me at some point kind of break this up and use these words. And I'm really liking that style. I've been doing it for a hot minute. So I think since good soil and it kind of just gives a little bit more depth. Okay, so Abigail set this up literally so you could just lay this down on a page and make it look like a mixed media page. And I really love that. I think that's really cool. She's got some paint on the side of actual photos. And then she's got the cute little ephemera pieces with the mountain, the butterfly, the sun um, with sayings on them. And what you're going to see here is I'm just going to kind of start auditioning these pieces for my page. I had an idea that I wanted to incorporate quite a bit of the ephemera from her page. I do not use the pattern paper, but I use pretty much everything else. And you're going to see that as I go, we are in, in this Bible on the screen, we are focusing on Romans 1 20. That was like the main focus of Abigail's devotional. 
And Romans 1.20 reads, For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made so that people are without excuse. And ooh, that is so good. Like, I don't know how people can look at the mountains or look at the cloud formations or look at the beautiful waterfalls or little creatures flying around and not like feel that something bigger created all this. Like every time I'm out driving, especially where we live now, like the cloud formations are beautiful. We can see mountains and it just always is every single time it like opens my heart up and just makes me realize that we have a God that is bigger than anything that has created the most beautiful landscape for us, the most beautiful little critters flying around. And it is absolutely incredible. I really like Abigail's devotional, which is very short. Like if you want to do a quick little devotional, this is one to pick up. But she points out how she took a little trip. And during that trip, um, she came back with the heart to focus on God's creation to find peace. And I think that is such a remarkable idea and way to look at things like I know for me like if I start feeling anxious or something and it's beautiful outside go outside because all you have to do is look up and you're either going to see like a beautiful blue sky or clouds or birds and just take a deep breath and breathe it all in and that is God's creation and he created that for us like we're so lucky to live on this earth. So let's jump back into my process here for a minute. As you saw, I brought in, if you don't know, that is gesso. The Liquitex is a white gesso. It's kind of like a page prep. And because this is an interleaved Bible, these pages are thin. But what I like about it is the fact that each page is an individual page. So there's no words on the back. So you're not covering anything up. So I'll put gesso in the spots where I think I'm going to bring in paint and I'm going to do that here. And then also when when I was laying down these little mixed media backgrounds, um, when you have a bigger background, what I like to do is usually your paper's cut in the back and you'll, you saw me kind of readjust my paper. That way I can lay it all the way out flat. Um, I like to do that. I don't really like my sticker paper to get wrinkled up. It has, and if it does, hey, it's okay. You know, you can put stuff over it, like just go with it. So here I printed out the little circles. Again, I printed both on cardstock and sticker paper and you're going to see me cut off um, the trim of two of them and I use that down the road but I want to put these down just to have as a background so an idea for this is you can lay the sticker paper down to get an idea of where you want to put your cardstock for me I like to have a little bit more depth to my pages with layering so it's something that I really enjoy doing yes it's more printing but for me I use the HP ink printer program. Um, my daughter just got it as well and it is a way for me to print without having to leave the house. Uh, the ink comes directly to me because my printer like tells it when it needs new ink. So I'm not like an affiliate or anything like that, but it has been a life changer for me or a game changer for me with printing. So I have that in my Instagram bio. Um, I think if you sign up, we both get ink, but I don't need that. More importantly, like if you are an, like a person that struggles with printing, it's a great, great option. So, okay, back to the page here. So I have the little mountain scene with the beautiful sky background. What I was starting to think about is I'm going to use the little light of the world and I'm going to bring that up and that's going to be my journaling spot. And I thought it was a cute idea because it has the sun. So it's like the sun's rising and the sun is setting behind that mountain. Okay. And I'm sure y'all notice like, there's a massive change in lighting. Took a little break and it's a different time of day, you get a little bit more sun. So here I'm just bringing in a little bit of paint. So she has this set up where she already did a little bit of painting. So I'm just bringing in the same exact colors. Um, well, not exact, but you know, I tried to match them up as much as possible and just trying to blend in the Mako sticker paper with the paint onto the page. So it kind of looks seamless. Um, it doesn't look seamless, but you know what I mean? It's, it's going that route. I just make mixed up some um, some light pink and like this light blue um, that you'll see me using up at the top and 
you know, easy peasy. If you're afraid of paint, just like go for it. I used to love to paint, like love, love, love to paint. And then I felt like um, Bible journaling wasn't really a paint thing. Like certain people could paint and it was phenomenal. It was great. And now I feel like it's being incorporated back in and I love it. And I just, it's a reminder to just do what you love. Like no matter what everyone else is doing, just do what you love. Um, mixed media is very on brand right now, uh, which I think is awesome because I think there's no true definition of mixed media. So again, go for it. Have fun. It is your time of worship with God and it's your creative process. It's your Bible. It's your journal. It's whatever you want it to be. So again, go for it. Have fun. Okay. And with a snap of the fingers, my paint is done magically. Uh, <laughs> no, I just, uh, I added some more pink over to the left uh, because my verse is going to be over there. I put a little more blue up on the top. I have like this shimmer blue. So I was just putting little like splashes of it up there to make it kind of look like clouds. Um, it actually matches the color really well. So, you know, just sometimes you got to cut things out because it's not that fabulous, but there you see me kind of like doing the little idea of, okay, the sun could go up and down and that would be cute. And that could be my journaling. Cause I didn't know where else I wanted to do journaling on this page. And I didn't necessarily need to do a lot of journaling because she has the devotional and I also wrote on the back of the devotional so you know just again do how you want to do um the strength here is going to cut off the page a little bit or hang off the page a little bit I'm going to cut it off and I'm just cutting down a little bit of the ephemera pieces to fit them on I wanted to share that um with this devotional I also looked into the other verses that were provided and I wanted to also focus on Hebrews 3, 4. It says, for every house is built by someone, but God is the builder of everything. And oh gosh, isn't that a fantastic verse? Like, it's so true. Everything on this planet, like for now at least, is built by someone. Um, but God built everything. Like we don't have houses unless God gave us the trees to get wood, or we don't have water unless God gave us the oceans and the lakes to, you know, have access to the water. Like it doesn't matter what is being built on this earth. God is a part of it. And I think that is just so awesome to remember and to remind others of like, you know, if you're around people like me that don't exactly have the same faith, like something that I always like to just, you know, casually put into a conversation is, wow, look how magical the sky looks. Like, what a beautiful thing that God created. Or look at that rainbow. Like, God is like talking to us and shining down on us. So, you know, you can sneak it in there every so often here and there. So here on this little piece of ephemera, I used the sunset as a backdrop as well as the mountains for one of the little paragraphs in Abigail's devotional. And it reads, let all of God's creation be symbols and reminders of God's power, beauty, and love, and allow that to fill your heart with peace about yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And I did that on the clear Mako sticker paper. It is a little bit of a time process because I had to cut them all out individually, but it is rewarding when you get done with it because I like to be able to read stuff in my Bible. Um, you know, we're all, again, we're all different. Do it however you want. And then you see how I brought in the writing up there at the top, like over the paint and then at the bottom. So those are just her words cut in half. They're not all going to show, but I know what they mean. And it'll be a reminder that there's a devotional that went with this, which if you've been watching me, you know that I always like to like hide the artist's name on the page somewhere, whether it's an Instagram account or whatever. And also if it's like, if it's a study, I want to refer to that. That way I will always know where it came from, which I can't imagine I won't know it. But if someone else is looking through that, they will find something and be like, oh, Instagram Abigail clone. Um, I think her name's Crafty Abigail. Again, I will link that below, but they can look that up and find, you know, Abby on Instagram, etc. Or like Taylor, you know, like maybe the kids will connect. I don't know. I just have all these high hopes for people. <laughs> 
Okay, so back to the page. As you can see, yes, I am using lots of the ephemera. Um, some of it I am doubling up to make it a little bit brighter. Some of it I use the Mako sticker paper. I put it down and I lifted up the florals. And what I didn't get the process of is I did come in and add some of her scallops below the little scenery thing and above it. And then I also took the outlines of the circles on clear Mako sticker paper and I put them on the page as well. So um, I hope y'all like this video that wraps it up uh be sure to follow abigail i will link her below and gosh know that each and every single one of you are loved so much um i hope you have a beautiful and blessed day